Hello, I'm Carolyn Herbert from the Finance News Network and joining me from explorer and future developer Sol Gold is CEO Nick Mather. Nick, welcome to FNN. Thank you very much, Carol. Now, can you start by giving us an introduction to the company, your strategy and your key projects? Sol Gold is uh, an AIM London Stock Exchange listed company. We have a market capitalisation of about £250 million sterling, share prices uh, 20p as of last night. It's very liquid. We turn over on average 14 million shares a night and the company has uh, one of the world's best uh, copper gold porphyry discoveries in uh, northern Ecuador on the gold rich northern end of the Andean uh, copper belt. And Nick, now to your Cascabel project in more detail. Where is it located and what does it contain? It's in northern Ecuador about uh, four hours drive north of the capital Quito and only an hour and a half from the Pacific port of San Lorenzo and uh, Esmeraldas. Uh, it's got uh, 14 different targets that we defined over the 50 square kilometre uh, tenement area. Uh, in three and a half years we've uh, spent $35 million, uh, found 14 targets, drilled just one of those, Carolyn, and uh, that's taken 23,700 metres of drilling over 18 holes, of which 16 have hit the ore body, and four have delivered world-class intersections over a kilometre in length at economic uh, copper and gold grades. So what's been taking place at Cascabel that's generated such excitement? Uh, we've had uh, two drilling rigs working there last year, and we keep hitting these long intersections of consistent porphyry copper gold mineralisation, around about 0.7 grams gold and point. 7% copper, but up to 4% copper and 8 grams gold in the, uh, the very high grade cores. And it's those high grade cores that provide our company with the opportunity to look at uh, uh, developments with uh, low capital expenditures, low mining rates, but uh, very profitable and enables us to uh, develop the project in a step-like fashion without the need to uh, resort to uh, uh, value depletive joint ventures with majors. And Nick, you've recently announced a US $33 million capital raising to advance Cascabel. Where will the funds be going and are you fully funded for FY17? We're fully funded for the rest of uh, uh, calendar 16, all of uh, uh, FY17, uh, the rest of calendar 17 and the first half of calendar 18. As a result of that, we'll be Drilling about 46,000 metres of drilling, we'll get up to uh, six or seven drilling rigs onto the uh, property and it'll grow from there. Very good. So who participated and what were the terms of the raise? The, um, the, the lead financier is a uh, very impressive firm of uh, uh, Toronto-based uh, investment bankers headed up by uh, Bob Sanger, Maxit Capital. Uh, and Maxit understands the value proposition in this company. So the first raising uh, that he did was uh, $16.5 million. We contributed $6 million to it as well. That was at double the share price, which was 3p at the time. We raised the money at 6p. And then tranche two uh, that Newcrest and Maxit are, are doing is uh, uh, the $33 million US that you're talking about and that's being done at uh, 16 cents US or, or 12p per share unless uh, something else more spectacular uh, comes along. So what attracted Newcrest to the register and will they be providing any technical expertise? The uh, attraction for Newcrest is uh, that the discovery that we have at Alpala, which is the prospect that we have drilled, one of the 14 targets that we've outlined, is very similar in uh, all of its characters to the uh, Golpu project that Newcrest has in Papua New Guinea and that uh, they've recently published a $1.1 billion net present value assessment on. So uh, they see a lot of similarities between Golpu and Alpala but they're more attracted to the fact that this is a cluster of targets. There's potentially 14 different uh, porphyries that um, may yield all bodies. And what about the offer from BHP? Um, well, BHP just wanted to take project office pretty much in uh, a 70% uh, earn-in. They did offer uh, $30 million at $0.22 cents a share. Uh, we think that there's uh, a lot more value uh, in this project and we want to make sure that we retain the value for our shareholders uh, in Solgold. We've 
unraveled the geological problems at uh, Cascabel and we can see a lot of upside uh, that net can now be applied to those 13 other targets. And finally, Nick, where would you like to see Sol Gold 12 months from now and what's your long-term ambition for the company? Long-term ambition for the company, Carolyn, is to see it go into uh, development in Ecuador. We're developing a, a strong and consultative relationship with the Ecuadorian uh, government and they're showing uh, a very strong trend towards uh, understanding the mining industry and helping it develop. So we think Ecuador is a good place to develop a mine. There's certainly good uh, capital and operating cost advantages there in, in terms of the, lo the locational advantages and uh, low cost of labour and electricity. Um, so using those features and the high-grade core aspects of the Alpala project, we, uh, we are aiming to take this company through to uh, development and uh, uh, there's a lot of other, uh, other targets there that we can uh, also take the project along. Nick Maver, thanks for the update on Soul Gold. Thank you very much, Carolyn.